Now to an interesting story about the upcoming Netflix movie, Okja. A debate is raging about the film's simultaneous release in Korea and how internet streaming services like Netflix could bring big changes to the Korean wit movies, how they're distributed in the future. Park hee has this story. I feel very positive about it. I think it'll push the movie industry forward. I think that showing it on Netflix and trying to show it in a theater is problematic. The Netflix-funded movie Okja by Korean director Bong Joon-ho is due to be released both theatrically and online on the same date, on June 28, an unprecedented case for both the entertainment company and the Korea movie industry. The action-adventure film featuring names like Tilda Swinton and Jake Gyllenhaal, and which was premiered at the Cannes International Film Festival last month, has been highly anticipated by both critics and fans alike. But ahead of its release, Korea's three major movie exhibitors, CJCGV, Megabox and Lotte Cinema, are refusing to screen Okja due to a three-week holdback period widely practiced in the country. This means unless Netflix, which specializes in streaming media and video on demand, holds off its release for three weeks, 93 percent of theaters in Korea will be shutting out director Pong's latest work. I think big companies are afraid that Netflix would change the vertical profit structure that they have established. Netflix, on the other hand, is likely to form a horizontal structure by simultaneously releasing the movie. Although the multiplex theater chains claim they are at a disadvantage, others believe the paradigm shift in terms of movie distribution could benefit the audience. The streaming sites, streaming giants like Netflix or Amazon, um, they are affecting uh, the industry that as, as it continues to evolve, uh, but they serve a purpose. They're able to um, meet a demand. Uh, people at home can watch films and lots of different films. Although it's been more than a year that Netflix was launched in Korea, a country that boasts one of the fastest internet infrastructures in the world, making it a favorable environment for the platform, the service is not as widespread as anticipated among Korean users. And yet, Netflix's unprecedented decision to release Okja on the same day as theaters might indicate changing times in Korea's streaming service industry. Some people see Netflix as a threat, but online movie distribution is already an ongoing trend. Whether multiplex theaters and online streaming services can find a way to settle this controversy still remains an issue. Park Hee-jun, Arirang News.